Hey everyone, Sacred Zone is here with whatsyourtech.ca and in this video segment we're going to look at the Asus Oplay HD Media Player, a device that allows you to view content directly from an external hard drive or over the home network from a PC, Mac, or network attached storage drive. The Oplay is a small set-top box that connects to your home router and to your TV and allows you to play your media files back from a PC, a Mac, or an external hard drive connected through USB. Here we have a look at the main menu. It's not the flashiest, but you got file copy, setup, you've got photos, and you got music, and of course movies. So we're going to take a look at movies here, and as you can see, I've got storage device. I don't have a USB drive connected here, so I do have a network attached storage, and uh, I can go to it under network, and because the network attached storage is attached to the same router as the Oplay, they see each other. Now, I have to save it to my shortcuts, though, or else I have to keep inputting the password. This is a mistake on uh, Asus's part, in, in my opinion. So, I already have it in there. There you can see it, uh, my Aspire uh, from Acer. So, I get in, log on successful, nice. And here is a list of all the video files that I have. So, I can access all these, and I've made sure, uh, with the abundant file formats that the Oplay can, can handle, that I don't really have a problem here. I can play all these. So, I'm going to go through Movies. And one of the things I love the most is that it plays high-end MKV files with high bit rates. So here's Valkyrie, and this is a Blu-ray rip that I have here. And the preview comes up on the right-hand screen there, as you see. Now I'm going to segue right into a, a, a scene here of the movie, and it's playing it flawlessly. It just does not have a problem handling a, a file that's many, many gigs uh, in size. Now, of course, this is going over a wired connection, so that is helping the cause. But as you can see, the quality is just fantastic. As I cycle through the system menu here, as easy as the Oplay is, I should mention that setting it up with a Windows 7 machine is not easy. It's difficult at the best of times, and that firmware updates are a bit of a mess as well because they involve downloading a file and then inputting that file with a USB key or external hard drive, something that makes little sense to me given that this device is connected to the Internet in the first place. But despite that, it is fairly easy to use. It is a bit finicky when it comes to photos and music, from what I've noticed. Uh, it does mo uh, movies and video a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, but generally speaking, this is a pretty nifty device for what it does. Uh, obviously, it's not the most advanced out there, but it is pretty crafty, and uh, I've enjoyed using it so far, and I'm sure that you would too. Here we're uh, going to take a look at some of the file formats that the Oplay supports, and you can see them there. One word describes the Asus Oplay. Easy. It was easy to get up and running. It was easy to get to my content. It was easy to navigate through. And it was easy to take with me on the road. Plus, not having to worry about file format compatibility meant that I could spend a lot more time watching instead of converting. It's devices like the Oplay that reinforce what a good decision I made in ripping my DVD and CD collection and centralizing it on a NAS. Now I have all my movies, TV shows, and music a couple button clicks away on my HD TV. Granted there are some drawbacks with the Asus Oplay, and it's not as feature rich as the Western Digital's WDTV Live or Seagate's Free Agent Theater Plus. But at just over 100 bucks, it's a bargain for the functionality that you're getting. For whatsyourtech.ca, I'm Tech Ritzonis. Thanks for watching.